Hi, today I have prepared two multiply choice questions for you and I recommend you to stop video here, read both questions, choose the correct answer and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So here is the first question. In birds, sex is determined by ZW chromosome scheme. Males are ZZ and females are ZW. Lethal recessive allele that causes death in the embryo is sometimes present on the Z chromosome in pageants. What would be the sex ratio of the offspring of cross between a male that is heterozygous for the lethal allele and normal female? So, uh, as you know, in humans we have a sex determination system that is XY. So this is going to be male and female would have XX. So male defines uh, which uh, sex would be in progeny because he can give whether X chromosome or Y chromosome. And uh, once again, if the would be to X chromosome, this is going to be female. If it is going to be XY chromosome, this is going to be male. In birds, the system is different. Female defines if the progeny would be male or female. So, uh, female birds can be ZW and males are ZZ. So, Let's now build a Punnett square and see uh, what the sex ratio going to be in this um, cross. So we have uh, on top here, uh, for example, we may have male. So male uh, genotype would be Z and Z. And I use white color in order to show the chromosome that has um, recessive allele, allele that uh, would be lethal and uh, here on the other side would be female so when we cross these two parents together we can expect uh, the progeny as follows so here we would have that that and this is going to be normal male here we are going to have Z uh, pink and Z white and this is going to be uh, normal, phenotypically normal uh, female also. Those would be a carrier of the genetic disorder. Here we would have uh, ZW and this is going to be female and uh, here we would have uh, Z and W and this is also going to be a female but cause uh, this uh, female would have only one Z chromosome with uh, one defective allele and this allele wouldn't be balanced with uh, another normal allele as in males so we are going to lose this genotype and the sex ratio would be two males to one female because as you see half of the females would have a defective allele and such an abro wouldn't be able to uh, develop so once again uh, we have ratio to males to one female so let's check our answers and this is going to be uh, answer A to males to one female. So this is going to be our ratio. Let's now uh, move to the second question. A man who carries an X-linked uh, allele will pass it on to, and he has uh, five answers to choose from, all of his daughters, half of his daughters, all of his sons, half of his sons, and all of his children. And once again, in order to answer this question, we have to build a Punnett square. So uh, on this side, on the top, here would be genotype of the uh, male. And this is going to be uh, X, Y. 
And here on the side we would have uh, genotype of the female and this is going to be XX and we also can use different color for this X chromosome of the father so once again when we build a Punnett square we are going to get a sex ratio and genotypes of the progeny so here we would have one X chromosome from the mother and one from the father in the next cell we would have once again one X chromosome from the mother side and one from the father side and here we would have one X chromosome from the mother side and Y chromosome from the father and in the next cell we would have one X chromosome from the mother side and Y chromosome from the father side and as you see uh, half of the progeny would be males X, Y and uh, another half would be females and this is normal distribution of sexes uh, usually this is 50 to 50 and as you see all the males going to get their X chromosome from the mother side and Y chromosome from the father side and uh, all of the females going to get one X chromosome from the father side so let's now choose the correct answer and uh, the correct answer would be answer A because as you see uh, all of uh, the daughters of such cross or all of the females would have one uh, X chromosome uh, from their father side and one from their mother side so uh, the answer would be A all of his daughters would have this X linked allele uh, that they are going to get from the father side and this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video please write your comments that ask uh, any questions that you may have goodbye